Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be bringing my uh, review, my first impressions basically on the first episode of Boruto Naruto Next Generation. Now <clears throat> as you guys can already tell, uh, this is the first episode and I'm a little late on uh, posting this video mainly because of the fact that I have, I've uh, been delaying it and I haven't had a, a way to be able to record. Uh, my voice audio and I just found out a way to be able to do it but now that I do I'm gonna go ahead and review on the episode for Bor the first episode of Boruto Naruto the next year next durations now my first impressions going into it were I was hyped as fuck but I didn't want it to be over hyped I didn't want to be like a hype beast or whatever because for all I know the episode could have been you know complete trash and I, I would have had no idea so I went into it thinking that it wasn't uh, going to be amazing, but it was also, but it was also just going to be like decent. I went in there being hyped, but also at the same time not as hyped as I could have been. And then going into the episode and actually watching it, I left uh, the episode feeling really happy ab about how the first episode really went. I think the first episode of uh, Boruto was very, very good because in, in the beginning of the episode it begins with a complete destroyed uh, Hidden Leaf Village. The Hidden Leaf Village is just completely destroyed by uh, by uh, this character. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I apologize. But this, uh, this guy is basically fighting Boruto, a much older Boruto. Uh, so this isn't the beginning of the series like uh, of him going through like the Academy and stuff like that. This is him when he's much older and shit has like gone down. But basically, from what we can tell from this uh, first preview of what's going to come into the future, is that the Leaf Village is completely destroyed. Boruto seems to seems to be the, the last shinobi in existence, and that Naruto, the, the seventh Hokage, seems to be dead because if he was, he probably would have been there with Boruto fighting him, and so uh, uh, Boruto fighting this guy. And then uh, the, the dude is like, I'm going to send you to where I sent the, the seventh Hokage at Boruto. And then Boruto pulls out uh, uh, the headband, uh, the Shinobi, uh, or the Leaf Shinobi headband, puts it on. He's got like a scar on his eye. It looks really, he looks really cool uh, in this scene. Uh, uh, it was amazing. And he says, I am still a Shinobi. And then his eye uh, changes. His right eye specifically changes. And only his right eye. And when you look at it, it I think it, the, the design of the eye looks really cool. Like, uh, like the eyeball itself is like blacked out, and then he doesn't have like a pupil. It's like white out, like almost like uh, like a Byakugan, but not really at the same time. <coughs> and then uh, Boruto, who, ner who narrates uh, the the beginning of the of the episode, says this is the beginning of my story. And then there, and then it goes off into the intro, and the intro is catchy. Uh, it's not my favorite, but you know it's catchy and you know I, I, I like it a little bit. And so it cuts off to another scene where Boruto uh, and Shigadai, and Shigadai is the son of uh, Shikamaru. And so uh, those two are like uh, going out somewhere, and they get like uh, this hamburger, and, and they start like eating it as they're like they're on top of a train, and they're just like hanging out together and being friends. And they keep on saying that tomorrow is going to be uh, the first day of the Academy. And so basically, this is the start of Boruto's adventure. This is his story that we're about to embark on. And so the, the next day, tomorrow, in terms of the episode, is the, fir uh, is the first day of uh, the Academy for, for uh, children who are going to end up becoming a shinobi, a full-fledged ninja. And so it goes off into another scene, and then there's this kid uh, uh, whose name is, I believe, and uh, forgive me if I if I butchered the name, but Denki. Uh, he's getting bullied by a whole bunch of other kids, and then Boruto comes in, and then he helps out the kid and gets him away from uh, the other kids who were uh, who were trying to like get money off of of Denki. Again, uh, I apologize if I'm, if I'm butchering the name. I don't mean to. 
But uh, he goes ahead and uh, Borzo, he goes ahead and helps out the kid, uh, Denki, from the other from the other children. And then they go ahead and just sp uh, spend the rest of the day together. And they kind of become friends. And uh, what we find out about the character Denki is that he doesn't really want to be a shinobi. But the only reason why he is going to be one, or he's going to learn at least ninjutsu, is because of his father. His father wants to see just how just how powerful and strong his son is, but he doesn't want to be a ninja. He just wants to do whatever. And apparently, this this kid Denki, uh, his father is like uh, uh, like runs like this uh, this empire, not empire, but like this big company, and they make a lot of money. So this kid's basically. A really rich kid so it's uh, it's kind of weird and then uh, we see later on in this uh, we see a scene where uh, Denki and his father are like arguing with each other and uh, Denki's like can I like do this or do that if I was stronger and his father agrees with him and then he and then Denki leaves the room and then uh, we see like this mysterious ominous figure just like kind of roaming around like in the hallway that he's standing in and then he uh, he kind of like takes over his body, and then the next day, uh, when Boruto is on his way over to the academy, so that way he can be uh, registered, be able to participate in some classes, so he can uh, become a ninja. Then uh, he's like on his way to a train, so that way he can go and like basically erect his revenge off of the kids who were uh, bullying him, because I guess this figure that took control over him to control the evil that was like within him that's what it, that's what it felt like to me and it's really weird excuse me i'm burping a lot i apologize and then uh remember earlier in the, in the episode when i was talking about uh after boruto uh put on the leaf shinobi headband and his eye changed to like uh the uh, significant change of his eyeball uh it happened again and uh, in a scene when he, uh, he saw uh, Denki with uh, like uh, this purple aura like like surrounding him, and it was really weird. So something tells me that the guy from the beginning of the episode is this kid, and he's basically going to just completely eradicate everybody in the whole Leaf Village, which is going to be very interesting to watch. I'm I'm very interested to see what's going to happen later on, later on as the series continues. But anyways. Uh, the episode continues, stuff happens, I'm not going to explain because uh, it's, it's not really much other than the fact that uh, they're on a train, they're trying to stop the train, or they're not really trying to stop the train, they're trying, they're trying to stop the train from collision in into another train, and su they succeed in doing that, and then uh, Boruto and Denki are trying to make their way towards uh, the academy because they're late, they're really late, uh, they were calling on names, and then they noticed that Boruto uh, was late when he had gotten called on. And so after that, uh, they get off the tracks. The, they make the train go off the tracks. It was really funny. And then they leap off towards where the academy is, or, or at least near it. And then they crash into the statue of the seventh Hokage himself, Naruto. And it was it was really funny because uh, Konohamaru uh, was like. Like, yo, what the hell are you doing, bro? Like, I can't believe you actually did this. He could have been a little bit mature about it. And then, yeah, that's that's basically the end of the episode. Uh, there's a scene that happens during the credits where basically Boruto is finally off of his uh, suspension before uh, going into the academy. He's on his way to the academy to take class, to become a ninja. And in the next episode, uh, it appears that we are going to see uh, Boruto actually participate in a couple of classes and then so on, etc. Right? But overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I think that this episode was uh, really, really good. It was really well animated. And of course, if you guys uh, want to see it, um, like right now, uh, if you go to Crunchyroll's website, they have uh, they have the sub uh, really early on. If you also want to watch any other anime, uh, for example, Dragon Ball Super, like like hours uh, after like it aired in Japan, you can go to Crunchyroll. They're, they'll put it on their website, and also uh, you can pay for a subscription fee so that you don't get any ads. And also because. Uh, sometimes there's also a rare occasion that I've noticed that they only have a sample clip that they'll play if you don't have the subscription feed, but if you do, then you get the whole entire episode, 
and then that's basically just the add-on bonus. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. If you guys really did enjoy this video, uh, be sure to drop a like, and also, uh, you will see more uh, episode reviews on Boruto and uh, Naruto Next Generations, because I'm really excited for what's next to come, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this series as much as uh, I expect to enjoy it. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments what you think about the episode, because I really think it's I, I really thought it was good, and I want to hear you guys' opinions. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, like I just said. Uh, like I said, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.